How do you define compassion? Um, love, affection, um, listening. Um, explain what you think motivates people to act compassionately. Um, being in the same situation that they've been in before. So if you've been there, you, you understand on a different level. Um, if you have a family member who's got similar issues, you can relate in that way. Um, and just your personality. Some people are very caring, other people are not so much. So it just you know, depends on the situation. Um, describe what factors determine how and when we act with compassion. Um, I think that has to do a lot with people's personalities, you know, and how you handle things. Like some people are criers, so other people are huggers, or or have some people come in and they'll just touch your hand, and that's that's all the affection they'll give you. They won't talk. They won't, you know. I think it has a lot to do with personality, and also about what your job field is. Like if you're at McDonald's, you're not going to be being very affectionate with people versus working someplace like this where you are. So. Um, explain if you believe there are any limits to compassion, what are they and why do they exist? Boundaries. People have boundaries on how much like affection or hugging. Like if I go to hug somebody first, I'll, I'll always say, can I give you a hug? You know, because then you're respecting their boundaries because not everybody's affectionate. Not everybody's going to be receptive to mm -hmm. compassion. So some people might just be like, what are you doing? Get, get yeah, off of me. I <laughs> won't say that word. <laughs> but you know, it's it's, it's very boundary driven. So that you respecting theirs and them respecting your boundaries as well. Mm -hmm. so.